just going to put a short video out on our uh, copper cell. So I'm going to use the same top as my silver cell. I'm just going to swoop it over to the cop or the yeah to the copper cell, and then um, go ahead and just rinse out this thoroughly. So we'll go ahead and set that in there. It looks like we got contact with the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and put some more, a little more um, distilled water in there. Clean up on aisle three. There we go. So what I'm looking for is a better um, connection there in the bottom so we can see it's completely soaked. Now these are just old stuff that I've pulled out of my uh, My waste bucket, the copper waste bucket, or when I go to put steel in it, so I'm uh, cementing copper out. So that's what these are. And then a little anode, nothing crazy. I just welded the uh, uh, a piece of wire to it, so I can clip my uh, uh, positive side on there. And then these are the pins I melted up. So I melted these up. Somebody had uh, made an, a suggestion to melt the pins up and then just deal with the slimes. So I'm gonna try that. That sounds like a great idea. And this is gonna take a while. Um, so I'm not in a hurry. This is like half of it. So this is probably, actually I can't even say, it's probably like four ounces of uh, those gold pins. So I'm gonna go ahead and set those in there. We're going to start those first. That's just distilled water in there, so I'm not worried about that at all. That fused to the bottom of that bad boy. It's starting to weld. It's trying to anyway. And this is a complete experiment. I'm not sure if it's gonna if it's gonna play it out on the stainless. I wouldn't see why it wouldn't. There's really only one one way to find out, and that's uh, what we're gonna do right now. So, so I don't short anything out. We're gonna go ahead and slowly put this over here. Connect the negative and connect the positive. I'm probably gonna have to go. There we go. Let's see. This is gonna be a short video for you guys. We got more coming this weekend. shorted out. My bolts are set to 3.5 and I have zero amps. I wonder what's up with that. Oops, sorry about that. Let's pull this a little closer here. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. We got some amperage. It's not very high. It's only at point 0.1 right now. Let's see here. One second. So we're sitting about 0.14 amps right now at 3.5 volts, which is the same voltage that I was running through my silver cell, but we were getting closer to 0 0.78, 0 0.8, 0 0.82 amps. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and, and keep going with this because the cell, the silver cell, when I was running at like 0 0.15, 0 0.14, similar to what we got going on now I was able to dissolve basically the same size as this anode overnight I know that's not a lot but I don't really have a lot in there so I'll just check on it make sure that we're still pulling some amps tomorrow to see if this works the stainless steel uh, my initial plan was to get a copper bowl but I can't find them at a decent size where they're not hammered so they have a, like a, a goofy texture to them I mean it's it's really appealing if you were gonna have it as kitchenware but um, I'm figuring it would be a pain in the rear to get you know scrape the copper off of it with all those divots in there so I'll keep you posted on this that's gonna be the video for now uh, it's short sweet right to the point I have some capacitors that I have incinerated currently and they're now in the mill so I'll be working on that tomorrow I'll do a gravity separation and then uh, throw them in a nitric bath so we can get some silver out of those so that's coming this weekend uh, but I just wanted to let you know the progress on the copper cell so our copper cell has, has started to come up this was at 0.14 uh, a little earlier in the video and now we're up to three well uh, 0.44 Amp. So almost at a half an amp. So I'm happy with that. Probably can't see anything on there yet. Oh yeah, a little bit. Well, it's floating around in there. I'm not sure if it's actually plating. Hmm, interesting. Oh yeah, I can see a little bit of brown on the sides. Well, I'm good with that. Whatever we did stirred it up even higher. All right, copper cell update. We're just going to let it ride. It looked like it was plating out and our amps did get up quite a bit higher. So started out at 0.14 when it first started and ended up with uh, 0.68, at least for now. This is within like a five hour span. Yeah, maybe not even. Uh, so we're just gonna keep it going like that. And so my movies now that I'm gonna include you guys in. If you guys want to email pictures or videos or you know progress on your lab or how you got it set up I'm gonna start doing videos um, dedicated to you guys uh, I'm gonna put them out on Fridays now they might depending on how many I get you know how many people interact with it I might just include them to begin with at the end of one of my videos like just a special thank you for you know uh, all your guys help um, you know, or if I get enough, I'll do a dedicated one specifically for you guys. So I got a couple um, already sent to my email from my previous video. 
what I'll do is I'll, I'll include my, my email in this one too in the description so you can go ahead and just email pictures, whatever you want me to share, you know, please keep it PG. Um, if you don't want your name mentioned or anything like that, just please include that in the email um, and we'll get something going for you. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.